Hey y'all, welcome back to Calvin's Corner 72. I'm up here in the corner. Now where are you? <laughs> hey y'all. Um glad to have all y'all back this week. I'm doing an update here. Hey, I've been working a lot. I'm going on four weeks this week. Seven days. Um let's go over the winners for last week, week eight. Alabama won 33-14. They beat Texas A and M. Auburn won over Arkansas, 56-3. to three. That's like a basketball score, man. That's bad. The Hogs got smacked. They got cooked. Ole Miss playing LSU. LSU smacked them down. Golly, 38-21. South Carolina, they beat UMass, 34-28. That's a tight game right there. A lot of points. Must not have been no defense. Middle Tennessee, nah, they surprised me. They beat Missouri, 51-45. I mean, a 2 team beating a one team that doesn't look good for Missouri. They may be hunting a coach. Kentucky, playing Mississippi State. Kentucky wins, 30, I mean, 40-38. That, that was a surprise to me. And Vanderbilt beats Tennessee State, 2 team. Awesome. Okay, that is for week eight. Now, we're going to. Rock it on down here to week nine, and we'll be right back to check it out. Oh, boy, look at that. That big head's, head's up. All right, y'all. Last week's year's, you know, yearly uh, predict. Um, that, blah, blah, blah. Last week's yearly total up to date was uh, I had 48 wins and 15 losses, and y'all can see them right down the line here. Jerry Dilly's winning with 51 and 12 losses. All right. He's, he's shooting 80.9%. I'm doing 76.1%. Uh, we stare at broken clocks, asked if I could do the percentages on it, so I did. Since he didn't he didn't play last week, I didn't put him down on anything, but he played this week. All right, here's everybody's picks. Most people won five and lost two. Five and two, see? Three and four, red going to gray, sorry. Uh, four and three, four and three, five and two, five and two. A lot of them... Uh, Roll Tide got six and one. He only lost one, so that was he was the best pick of the week. And Captain Jerk was as well. So we know who you're watching now, Captain Jerk. The cat's out of the bag, bro. <laughs> and uh, we had uh, we stare at broken clocks. He got two wins and five losses. So tough luck, brother. All right, it's a tough group right here. Um, but I'm glad you're playing. Okay, so you're in for the twenty dollar card because you're playing. All right. <clears throat> Calvin's Corner 72 as of this year that we've got 70 games uh, uh, logged down right now this year 70 games have been played and I've got 53 right and 17 wrong so I'm shooting 75.7 I actually went down a little bit in percentages um, several people went up um, Jared Dilly went down I think he went down from uh, he had a 80.9, he went down to 80 flat because he lost a few games, but that's fine. Um, Captain Jerk went way up to 75.7, so he's the same as me. If y'all look down this and check it out and find yours and see what you think. Now, I did do, we I did, uh, we stare at Broken Clocks because he's only picked one game. He had two losses and five, I mean, five losses and two wins, so he's shooting 28.5%. Granny Monster only played one time, so she's 50 50, right? <laughs> She only picked one game, one loss, so she's 50-50. All right, y'all. Um, so, here we go, this week's. Now, I'm going to do a little spin on you this week. I'm not going to put my picks in until Friday. So, if y'all want to know what I pick, you're going to have to come back and check maybe late Friday night, then you'll see what I picked. All right? So, we got Missouri playing Kentucky at, uh looks like, 12 o'clock. On should be Saturday, right? Saturday, October 29th, this Saturday in Columbia. So, Missouri's at home, all right? Then we got the biggest game of the week, if you ask me, in the SEC, especially in the SEC East. That is Georgia, Florida, baby. Go Gators. Beat Georgia. And uh, we got a little side bet, Mr. Shane Prather and me. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Y'all might get to see a little follow-up video from one of us. A uh, little side bet. We'll just leave it at that. Right that right, Shane. Yeah, baby. Okay. Anyway, Georgia's playing Florida. 
They're in Jacksonville, and that doesn't mean they're at Florida. They're at Florida's not at home. That's a neutral position for both teams. Jacksonville is not Gainesville, and Georgia is in Georgia, so Athens. So you know, I mean, they always play at a neutral position. That game right there is a real tie. You know, when they play at a neutral position, it's tough. All right, Sanford, Mississippi State, Starkville, Mississippi. Mississippi State's at home, and. They got smacked down by Kentucky last week. They're going to be pretty mad. I'd say Sanford's got a bad game coming, but they are 6 and 1. They've only lost one game and won 6, so it's up in the air what y'all want to pick. I don't know. This week, Auburn's playing Ole Miss, and Ole Miss, you know, I don't know. They had it when they played Alabama. They ain't got it here lately. Auburn's 5 and 2, and they're 3 and 4, so that's a West Conference, you know. Head to head, right there. You know, they got to. They want to get Ole Miss. Wants to get in the bowl. They better start winning. They're in. They'll be in um, Mississippi too. So Ole Miss will be at home. Tennessee, South Carolina. Okay. The chickens are playing Tennessee. I don't know. I tell you, I don't know. Tennessee's five and two. South Carolina's three and four. I know who I'm gonna pick. Texas A and M, New Mexico State. New Mexico State's two and five, and I, I'm sorry, South Carolina is at home, so we might be able to hear that chicken crow a little bit, reckon. Texas A&M is six and one. They ducked their first loss last week to Alabama, so you know it's tough playing Alabama. That doesn't mean you ain't no good. They're still ranked number nine, so that tells you right there they're playing New Mexico State. So y'all just do your picks the best you can, and uh, I appreciate it. And uh, y'all keep playing. It's a lot of fun, and. Uh, I'm sorry I hadn't got a lot of videos out, and I'm telling you, it's between deer hunting and working and everything else is going on, things I got to do around here, it's just rough. I'm doing the best I can. Um, I'll get out more videos as soon as I can on some other things. I want to do a lot more, but right now it's you know that's just the way it is. And I appreciate everyone y'all playing. I love the comments. You know, I hadn't even got to watch football the last two Saturdays. I've been to work. You know, if I wasn't at work, I was sleeping. I couldn't stay up and watch the games because I had to get some rest before I went in. It's tough. But, you know, that's just the way it is. Mama likes the money, and we like paying the bills. And when we got the bills paid, then everybody's more happy because we ain't got nothing to worry about. Or we got roof over our head. The good Lord gives us you know, what we need. So I appreciate y'all playing. I hope y'all having fun. I sure am. Even though I don't get to watch the games, this is keeping me in it. So I'm in it to win it. And I'm coming after y'all this week. You better pick good. So y'all done switched it up on you. Now you don't know who to pick because you can't copy mine. No. <laughs> Not that y'all are copying. Y'all don't want to copy mine. You say, I'm getting kicked, crap beat out of me. You need to copy Jared Dillies. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all come back and see me. This is Calvin's Corner 72. And uh, y'all like, subscribe, tell all your friends. Come over to my channel and holler at me, and I'll holler back at y'all. Y'all have a good day.